lady about to join us. There, there are no objections here, then? No. No, I saw her in the green room. She is a beauty. Did you also notice that the green room is green? I'm colorblind. Well, that's right. You are, aren't you? Color perception. Blind. We're very proud of that. There are a lot of green rooms in television, but ours is green. But I hear she is uh, lovely. Did you notice what color hair she has? Green. Aha. <laughs> Uh, she's causing quite a stir with her portrayal of the hilarious uh, Gucci Pucci sister to uh, Stocker Channing in the CBS series Just Friends. Awfully good series, Just Friends. She previously distinguished herself as an actress on stage. You like that? And also in the television miniseries. See, she can work both. Uh, three Girls Three. She's making her first appearance on our show. Would you welcome Mimi Kennedy? <laughs> Very good, too. I saw her. Walter. Yeah. Do something Your timing. Us. Your timing is excellent. Do something for us. You do something on American cooking. Yes, American cooking. Yes. Would which you? I wrote with my friend Wendy Wasserstein. Here it is. Um, well, hi. Uh, are we ready to begin? Well, uh, self-improvement has come to Deep Purple Falls, Indiana, and I want to welcome you all to Deep Purple Falls Mall. And <laughs> to our first night class entitled American Cooking. I, I'd like to thank 12 Angry Guys Department Store for letting us <laughs> use their community room for this worthwhile project. Yeah. Uh, isn't the new mall just beautiful? I, I just love the Star Wars mural. It's an especially good likeness of Harrison Ford. It's lovely. All right, uh, tonight we'll be learning to cook our Native American dishes in the traditional way. Now, this is being too often forgotten in this era of fast food. It's easy to go out for a burger. I had a niece who got married without knowing how to fry bologna. <laughs> <laughs> there are very few left who can make a dip like Mother used to make. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, my name is Barb Kennerick, and, and some of you I know, and some of you are strangers. Jeannie Baird, I haven't seen you since the Crest test. How are you? <laughs> How are your teeth? <laughs> Mine are fine, thank you. All right, now, we're going to start simple. Tonight, I'm going to make a dish that I used to feed my family between meals. It's something I do with Jell-O called snack and lasagna. <laughs> now, I start this recipe with three packs of lime gel. Just follow directions on the box and pour it into a large lasagna pan, put it in the fridge, and let it set. Okay, when it's ready, you're, uh, you are ready for your next ingredient, which is cake frosting. You can use it out of the can, but I prefer homemade for my family. I, I like to make it fresh out of the box. So, um, I make it fresh out of the box. When you have it done, you just spread that frosting on top of the jello. This seals in the jello and provides a first layer. Good. Next, take eight cups of potato chips and crush them. Now, have fun with this. I use Pringles. Again, I like them fresh crushed myself, but you can, you can buy them in the bags already crushed. Uh, you should end up with uh, two and a half cups of potato chip dust, which um, you mix with half a cup of Gatorade, that nutritious drink that the family loves. This recipe is deceptively nutritious, and uh, you mix it together as a kind of paste and set it aside. Now, Italians use noodles for their lasagna, yeah. but we Americans eat too many carbohydrates, as it is, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we're just going to go right to the protein, and I want you to take the wrappers off 24 slices of American pasteurized processed natural cheese food. <laughs> and be sure to look for the product that says cheese food, because then you know it's food. <laughs> okay, now you spread these on top of the cake frosting and glue it together with the tomato, uh, with the potato chip paste, tomato, potato. If you say tomato, I say tomato. Cute. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And then we're ready for our last layer, a cup of marshmallows. You arrange them however you like over it and dot it with ketchup for that zesty Italian flavor. Pop it in the oven, 350 degrees for 10 minutes or in a man of radar range for seven seconds. <laughs> It's easy as pie. In fact, it is easier. We are going to learn to make that wonderful pie on the side of the Ritz cracker box, mock apple pie. It's not an apple in the thing. Mm -mm. Ritz crackers, nutritious brown sugar, and delicious butter. And next week, too, I want you to bring in your stale bread. We'll be cooking with stale bread. And Mrs. John Meckler has said that she would bring in her replica of Disney's Fantasyland Castle, done entirely in stale white bread and burnt English muffins. <laughs> Mimi Kennedy. That's delightful, Mimi. Thank I love you. That. We'll be right back after this message. <laughs>